We're joined on INSEAD Knowledge by Xiang Bing, uh, Dean of the Chen Kong Graduate School of Business in Beijing. You. Uh, you're here for the Dean's meeting. Um, Asian schools are doing pretty well these days in terms of uh, the FT rankings. How do you see the development of um, business education in China going? Well, uh, one reason we have been doing well is the China's economy. And uh, with this global financial crisis, one thing that is for sure is the China's influence on global business community will be far bigger than many people have expected. And uh, a Chinese company will be more global. And so in the whole process, uh, there's going to be a greater role for schools, this school from China, uh, to play a more active role in the global education business community. Uh, from our school's point of view, uh, even at a starting point of setting up the school, we have given a lot of thoughts to why we need better school. I mean, there's many great schools already, INSEAD is one of them, uh, which we have good collaboration with. And also even in China, we have a few good schools already. So uh, at the very beginning, we look at uh, uh, the, the globalization of businesses and we look at the limitation of, let's say, some of the top USB schools. Uh, the few points uh, came to our attention. Number one, uh, the US, maybe more broadly Western B schools, uh, paying more attention to modern enterprises, like a GE, like IBM. And uh, the research is focused on state-owned enterprises, and private companies are rather limited. And if you go to a country like China, and we have SOEs, we have private companies, uh, which contribute about 70% of the GDP of China. Uh, they're different players compared with multinationals and modern corporations. And also the platform in China is quite different. You know, the, the many differences, uh, uh, for example, it's fast changing. You know, like in China, we say every two or three years, a structure change, you know. And also the infrastructure can be very rudimentary, and whether it's hardware or software. So when you have a different platform, uh, when you have different type of players, and uh, this complexity is not well studied. So we have invested heavily in this regard. And also, uh, if you look down the road for the next 10 years or so, uh, there's two fundamental changes uh, already here. Uh, we'll continue. Number one, for the leading multinationals, how they will integrate China and maybe India into their global play. Big headaches, big challenge, but also opportunity for them. And also the rise of new kids on the block, like a you know, company from China, India, will go global. Uh, in that process, that will transform so many sectors along the way. Again, not many schools were positioned to study all of this. So we're in the good position by locating in China, and also by securing maybe like 32 full-time faculty, you know, really research-driven faculty, truly world-class faculty. And uh, majority of them are Chinese, no language, no culture barriers. So we can study those issues in detail, and we lead by insight. So uh, the next level play, uh, we have brought in humanities in a serious way to the curriculum of MBA, EMBA, non-degree program. And to us, just looking at uh, Chairman CEO as an instrument for creating value for shareholder rather limited, you know. And the first of all, they have a life to live, you know. And secondly, uh, you know, in the pursuit of profit, val value creation, or GDP, uh, many important things can get lost. Uh, one example of that, like, you know, like a Xi'an, you know, the capital, Asian capital of China, and uh, had all the potential to become Florence of China. But that possibility may be gone. So I, I think the point I'm making is we, we need a more global in perspective. Uh, that means you've got to be sensitive to disparity in religion and values. And we need to be more broadly focused than just, uh, OK, this is value creation for shareholders of GDP. And also, we need to be more long term. Uh, I mean, I'm talking really long term. It could be more than 10 or 20 years, even longer. You know, something you think is great for this 10 or 20 years, 
may not be perceived the great by our offspring, you know, two or three generations down the road. So I think the whole, the boundary of the way we look at business, the way we develop leaders for future business must be expanded. And uh, we're taking some experiment in that. Uh, I think uh, the more experiments are really needed, you know, do a lot of good for society, you know, truly good for society. In the Financial Times, he's saying you don't want to be a Harvard or a Seams. Uh, you want to go beyond um, being a, a training institute. And you, you've mentioned uh, you know, that you want well, humanities and so on as being part of the curriculum. Because uh, actually, this is relating to the way of thinking. You know, I think uh, since 1840, the Opium War, uh, we Chinese tend to think the way bottom up, Western ideology, political system humanity, civilization, management, technology, whatever. So it's a matter of how do you apply all of that to China. So it's really application in thinking. And uh, that way of thinking allows no possibility of overtaking or leading. So we consider the top B school in the West as Da Vinci. We want to be new Picasso. They're great in certain aspects it's difficult to overtake within that box. But at the same time, is everything, so many things are changing and so many fundamental changes are taking place that give us opportunity to be the leader, like in emerging market knowledge, SOE private multinational competing in China, and how the Chinese company go global and, and transform so many sectors along the way. We might be the leader in that regard. And that knowledge is not only in demand by the Chinese company, but also by multinational global companies. So that's the new philosophy I would like to promote, actually, is, uh, is philosophic, philosophical underpinning of a school strategy of differentiation, blue sky, top down, not just bottom up. And we'll, we'll go global, like we have Korean CEO program, we had an Indian CEO program, together with INSEAD, we'll have more similar program in coming years. Because that knowledge will be high in demand. And just briefly, are you thinking of uh, making adjustments to your programs given the global downturn? And presumably you see this as, some, uh, as an opportunity. You know, to me, you know, the many technical reasons for global financial crisis, you know, uh, you know, the many experts, you know, for finance, economics, many other disciplines, who have a better idea about, you know, detail all of that. I think, uh, uh, to me, it's just a matter of personal greed, you know. I think uh, if, if you have so much money uh, in the particular sector, you know, including the bonus you pay to, 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 to the players in the sector, and there's so many intelligent people, and uh, I think that will go beyond the capacity of regulatory agencies, you know. So I have those in combination, and the, the, the problem will emerge. The, this won't be the last one for sure. It, it might be coming uh, not too, now the many years uh, ahead, ahead of us. So uh, I think it's, it's, it's on the value side, on the value or intention of the companies, on the way we train our students, I think we have some responsibility in that regard. And uh, maybe more broadly, I think if you want to think about sustainability in a serious way, and then we have to re-examine the choice of lifestyle even. If you look at Japanese way of lifestyle, it's, it's far more eco-friendly. And, uh, and, and maybe more fundamentally, we need to uh, uh, have some modification, uh, some of the fundamental values uh, which really have been the underpinning of Western civilization like humans. That it, at the center of everything. You know, we can exploit anything we want. Uh, I think uh, in that regard, uh, the wisdom from China and India uh, may be brought forward in the next run of enlightenment, <laughs> a renaissance, possible. And that may be absolutely essential for real sustainability in the long term. You know. uh, we, we just uh, position ourselves too highly uh, in the whole system. Uh, so that's. So that's something, you know, we, we're not going to change a lot of things overnight, but it's, you need a, a school who try to be experimental, 
do more good for society, not only for China, but even globally. Uh, by having some messages like that, we're not changing a lot of things overnight, but it's better to have one. It's the starting point. We'll try. Uh, so far, so good after six years, a bit over six years experiment. You know. So this is uh, our school. So we want to be, uh, w yes, we want our graduates, alumna, to be competitive at the same time with the heart and soul, live a very enriched life, equally important. Dean Cheng of Chen Kong Graduate School for Business in Beijing, thanks for joining us on INSEAD Knowledge. It's a delight. Thank you so much.